Welcome, and today we're going to look at the isometric sketching technique in more detail, and we're going to look at the plotting points technique. Before we start, we need to remember what isometric drawing is, or isometric sketching is. And these are drawings that we looked at in the first video, where we've got diagonal lines that are drawn at 30 degrees. One of the first things we need to think about is, what is 30 degrees? If I start with a small diagram, What I've drawn is a right angle, which is 90 degrees. If I then split that into, this angle here would be 45 degrees. 30 degrees is smaller than 45, so something like this. 30 degrees would be the angle that I've just sketched in. About, when we're sketching, we don't need to be too accurate. Now the plotting points technique starts by looking at drawing a 2D shape first and then drawing that into a 3D drawn crate. What I recommend starting with is a shape that's got more flat edges than curves. To begin with I'm going to draw a rectangle. Remember good technique, turn the paper to draw your lines. And inside that rectangle, I'm going to draw the shape that I'd like to draw in 3D. The shape I'm going to do is a letter K. So I'm going to use the full size of this rectangle and make the shape fill the outside edges. And there's my K. I then want to draw an isometric box to the correct proportion that we would like to have. So to draw an isometric box, and we looked at this in the first introduction and sketching video, we start by drawing a vertical line. We then draw lines that are V shapes. So I draw a V at the bottom of the box and a V at the top of the box. We want to draw a V that's quite wide apart. The diagonal of the V wants to be at 30 degrees, this line here. So I'm gonna sweep my hand across this line, come back here, and draw a line out to the right hand side. I then want to do the exact same thing on the other side. Something like that. We then want to draw a V at the top of the line. The V wants to be exactly the same shape. These lines want to be parallel I'm going to draw. So I'm gonna draw a line this way that is parallel to this line. And the same in another direction. To construct a box, I want to mark the sides on. The side of the box this way will be the length of my letter I'm going to draw. So it'll be around about this size here. Another direction, it'll be about the width. And like in the previous video, we want to make sure that we've got these lines vertical. Your eye will trick you. They'll make you want to draw a line at an angle. So just try and make sure it's the same direction as, as the first line you've drawn. To complete the top, we want to draw some more parallel lines. So I'm going to sweep my hand across this direction here and draw a line in that position like so. And the same in this direction here to complete the, the drawing crate. Remember drawing crate is a drawing of a box or in this case uh, uh, that fits the, the, the shape in. The top line here of my 2D shape would be this line across here. This line down the edge would be this line here. The line along the bottom would be this line here. And the line down the right hand side would be this line here. The plotting points technique means I need to transfer points that I can generate on this drawing onto the 3D drawing. So I'm going to start by adding some points onto here that'll make it easier to draw the shape in 3D. So I'm gonna have a point in the corner, in this corner here, that point, and so on. What they want, want to do is transfer these on to the top surface of the shape. So this point here in the corner will be transferred on to the top corner across here. 
The bottom point would be in the bottom corner across here. This point here is along the top line, about just under halfway. So along the top line, just under halfway, about that position just there. This next point is along the top line a little bit further. If I work my way around the sides, this next point here is on the right hand side edge, a little bit down from the top. This next point here is a little bit up from the bottom corner. This point here is a little bit in from the bottom right. And this point here is the same distance in from the top, like so. These last points that I'm going to circle are more challenging to find. If I look at these first two points here, if I was to draw a straight line down here, you would see that all of these four points are on the same line. On the drawing, I'm going to draw a light line down here between these two points. And then on this line, I know that these two points will be found. This one here is about one third of the way up. This one here is about one third of the way down. The last point I need to find here is this one. This point here is round about halfway up. So what I can do is I can come along this edge halfway, draw a line across at an angle. And on that line, that point's going to come in to about here. It's then just drawing the dots up. So on the top surface, we have a line going to here, down to here, across to this point, up to here, across to here, up to that point, across to there, and there. And if I just darken in slightly, you'll see, hopefully, the K shape that's been drawn on the top surface. Now to make this 3D, what we're looking to do is take all the points, so all these points here, and draw a line vertically down the way down to the next line. So that one here's already been done for us. Then we want to do this point. This point's... Now I'm not going to do that point because I won't actually see it. It will be behind the rest of the object. I'll do this point here. This point here, this point here, this point here, and this point here. Likewise, I'm not going to do this point or this point because we won't see them. Now the rule is that whatever happens on the top surface, you do the same at the bottom. So on the top surface here, the line goes in this direction. So at the bottom, it goes like so. On the top surface, it goes in this direction here. So on the bottom, it does the same. At this point here, the line goes across the way here. And the same at this point. At this point here, the line goes like that. At this point here, the line goes like this. And this point here, the line goes like that. You will know you've done it correctly because the size from this point from a pen is just now to here will also be the same size here, same size here, and on every other line as you go through. Now the second one we're going to look at is going to be using more of a curve shape. So this example is going to be of a, an S, a shape made of lots of curves. What we're going to do first, we're going to draw the drawing crate out. So I'm going to do my vertical line in place. And I'm going to draw a V shape. Making sure the bottom lines are at 30 degrees, or as, as close as I can. And then I want to do a line here, another V shape at the top, but making sure it's parallel to this line. So I'm going to sweep my hand across, then move my hand up and draw a line. Can then do the same in this direction. Again, we want to draw a drawn crate that fits the proportion of the object we're drawing. So the length of it's going to be about here. And the breadth will be about here. And we can then complete the top by doing parallel lines. Like so. Now this object, we need to then add the, the, the points on, like in the previous example. The points I'm going to choose this time are going to be these corner points here and here. But unlike the previous example, we don't have obvious corner points to choose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the point at the top, the point at the edge, as these lines touch the edge of the box. This point here, this point here. And to help my drawing a little bit more, this point and this point here. 
We can then transfer these across onto the top surface of the drawing crate. So let's start with outside shapes first of all. This one here at the top is along the top line in the center. Again, this line here is like this line across the top. So the point's gonna go in the center. Down the left hand side, the next point I'm gonna choose is this one here. And that's around about a third of the way down, about there. The next point I'm going to look at is this one. And again, from the bottom corner, it's up a little bit, about there. The next point on the bottom edge is in the center. This point across here is about there. And this point is about there. And what that allows us to do is get the points on the outside. For sketching what we've got so far, this point curves round to this point here, then curves round to this one. In a 3D drawing, it's going to look something like this. This will be the same at the bottom as well. The complicated part is the inside. The next two points I'm going to look at is going to be this one here and this one here. This point is horizontally across from this one. If we go to that point and draw a line at 30 degrees, which is what horizontal lines are represented as, I'll be able to mark in where that point is. Likewise on here, and it gives that part for the S. The last two points I'm going to get are these two, where I've just pointed to. To get this one, this one here is a little bit along, a little bit down from that one. So my 3D drawing can go a little bit along, a little bit down and get that point just there. This one needs a little bit long and a little bit up. So I can do the same all across here, a little bit long, a little bit up to get that point. And that gives us a point where we can then take our pen, curve round the way like so, and we can then curve it across to look something like this. Remember it's sketching so it doesn't need to look perfect. We can always go back and adjust it. To make it 3D, we're going to take all the points down the way like we did in a previous example. So this line here is going to go straight down. Uh, so this point here, that point there, I'm not going to touch really too much. This point here, this point here. I'm not going to take this point down. I'll take this one here though. Not that point or that point because you won't see them. I also need to look at the edge of the ob shape and I'm going to take a line just a tangent. That means where a line touches the edge of a curve at one point down the way here and at this edge here, and at this edge here. Now the thickness of the shape is the thickness of the box. So it's gonna be that steep there, to that edge. Same idea as before, along the top it goes in that direction, so on the bottom it does the same. On the top edge here it curves round, like that, and it's gonna curve like this as well, on that spot. At this point here, it's going to come down to there. I'm going to take a line from that edge down as well. On the top surface, it curves round like that. It's going to curve like this at that point. And then at the top surface here, it curves round between these two points like so. And this edge here, it curves round and up. Like so. The last point we'll see is just a little line in here, which represents the bottom of that part, which will look something like that. If I just darken in slightly, you'll then see, hopefully the shape a little bit clearer, 